Hello friends, welcome to part two of kids bedroom design from keyframes online. So from previous one, part one, we have designed the bed and uh, some uh, storage. Now I'll design a second bed over here. I'll make a copy. So now in this one, I can extend this line. Vertex and I'll drag it over here. Same thing we can do. This vertex, this vertex, we can extend like this. And if you want to save the time again, we can to like this your select right click corner you can come down like this I don't want in between I can make changes like this something different for upper one bed same thing I can copy like this. And one more thing I can forget to extend this one. This point, this point. This one has to extend it. It should be in line. You can add edit poly. Select the vertex joint over here. So, this is what I can, now I can do the ladder. <clears throat> Front view, I'll take a rectangle. Now I'll duplicate this one. Take one more rectangle. Copy. I'll select this one. Press Alt Q for isolation mode. Just check it. All thing is okay now I'll select right click convert to variable spline I'll attach multiple option attach multiple like this six should this is done then I'll just make a slant so like this
same thing I can duplicate over here. Go to vertex. Corner. I'll make a small table over here. Rectangle, simple rectangle. Modify 32 inches, 32 inches. Convert to a triple spline. I'll take rectangle, snap. Four, four. Snap on and snap like this. Snap off. Shift, drag. Snap on, lock on. I can snap to corner. Space bar. I'll snap off keep always snap off it is when it is required then you have to uh, activate it then it's very troubling I can shift and drag I'll say ok now I'll say attach attach 1 2 3 extrude Selecting a spline, I'll say extrude two inches like this. It gives a very nice feel when we do something like this because it shows very simple table. When you do like this, it gives a different identity to it. So I'll just make a group now group center table center table I'll make a small chair Seven, seventeen by seventeen. Convert to a little spline. I'll extrude it. I'll make another leg. Snap this. I'll say convert to a line, extrude it. Snap on, I can snap like this. Snap on. I'll make a duplicate copy of it. I'll 
go to modify select right click corner Give us support to the legs. Shoot. One. Same thing I have to copy over here. <coughs> I'll rotate this one. 90 degree <clears throat> now again I'll make a flat like this so anyone can keep a foot or have a support in between now I'll make a group Slightly, it's getting short. Edit poly, select by vertex, go to top, select the chair, and go to group. Chair, I'll make mirror. I'll make some random like this, like this, so it gives some randomness. Now we have done with the chair, table, and bed. In next part, we will do windows and some hangers or some clothes, some tennis balls, or maybe whatever the uh things will get uh will do to you know show the look and feel of it will uh, place some toys so do continue to my next part see you in uh, another part for uh, same tutorial <laughs>